previously on Lil Billy Ants. A nice little brood pile when they're growing ever so slowly. The acorn ant, we have a lovely, lovely queen with brood there. So we've got a nice queen somewhere around here. I think that might be her there. He's just standing there. Aww. That's true because they're not doing well at all. Just look at them. And now for some sad news and some heartfelt news. Firstly, I want to discuss a great migration. My channel isn't just about ants I keep, but ants I have kept in the past. I want us to remember our first colonies on the channel, the great and mighty Lazarus Niger colony, with, which we're doing so great, so great. I want you to keep them, but also allow them space beyond their imagination. I release them to populate my garden, but not only the Nigers, but the Flavers. I won them in a great giveaway, courtesy of Ants England. I released them too in order for them to populate my garden. Um, another colony I, I let go was a cute colony, a tiny colony, but by far the largest population of workers I had, the acorn ants. They are currently in, under a bush and still doing quite well in the undergrowth. And the final ant colony I released were the stingers, the rubra. I haven't seen fire ants in my garden for a long time, and so, as their native, I wanted to give them a good chance and set them free. And now for the sad news. During the summer of 2023 and the heat waves of England, my room heated up like a greenhouse. And unfortunately, we lost over 70% of my colonies. And any colony which was within six inches of my heat mat Heating, most of my ants were cooked alive with over 35 degrees. Since then, however, I have got some new equipment and I have some colony replacements in mind and on the lookout for some more. It was quite sad. However, these things happen. Some of you already know um, what I lost and for the channel, this is the first you guys are hearing it, but the list is as follows, the Carabera diversa, Solenopsis geminata, the trapdoor ants, Ontodomachus monticola, um, the green weaver ants, the two queen, which went into one queen, they died, the harps, which are doing not too good, to be honest, the monomorium floricola, the tiny little ants, and the Mesa barbarus. Rest in peace. You will be remembered, and I'm sorry that I failed you. Wow, Lazarus Niger. So many queens, so many queens in my garden. I was so happy. I gathered around about 35 queens from within five minutes, and here are those queens. A lot of them died, well not a lot of them, maybe 2% of them died. Um, but as you can see, I am found in these ants all over the place some with one queen, some with two queens, and even a couple with three queens. It's all for an experiment, just to see what happens. So far, so good. Look at these. These are the Chromagasters. There's a new one just emerging there. You can see it's just emerging. You've got some more coming through very soon. Awesome, awesome, awesome. She... Hasn't got any eggs as of yet. So now that I've added this, she's in like a, one of these setups where she can go in and dig a hole if she wants. Anyway, she's got 11 eggs. They're all, let's see this little, let it come out. They're all in there. Whoop whoop, 11 eggs. We've given her some sugar and a cricket, which I paralyzed. Just so she's not stressed out we don't want to stress our queen when she has that many eggs shit but but it's a cricket there full with her babies how cool is that she's amazing to watch la, 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 la. Fuck, she's stinging it right now. She stung it and she's taking it straight in the little hole. There you go. 
Put it straight in the hole. Okay, so in here we have the monomoriums. Um, drew really well. Um, let's see if I can get some action. Now these guys have blown up a lot, I've noticed. There's a lot more foragers out now. Um, you can see there's one right here. Um, they need a cleaner chest tube, but I can sort that out off camera. There's a sugar dish from Wakushi. Doing really well, I saw a massive brood pile. They were all blue um, just here the other day, uh, somewhere around here, and it was all blue. Um, and they've obviously moved it in a bit more, but they're doing really well. I'm really happy with these guys. I've never kept them before, um, but they seem to like what where they are. There's obviously springtails and bits of mites, um, good mites, I I believe, um, or whatever mites they are. They're doing, you know, they're not harming anyone. There's a cricket here with mites and springtails on. I might end up adding some like moss or some kind of plant or something or just emptying this into a bigger enclosure but for now they're doing absolutely fine they've got more than enough room to do what they need to do I'm in no rush I'm keeping them in here maybe forever I don't know but yeah they're doing really well so we're just going to feed them um they got water they got condensation so I'm just going to throw in some crickets get rid of these two and um tidy up now for my oldest colony, the Acromermex thailandeses, I, <laughs> I believe, I don't know. Um, same, they are doing amazing. They've been in here now for almost a whole year. I don't regret it. They are doing really well. Uh, obviously they've got the sugar dish, look at them. It's, they're all hungry. Their nest is still down in this little hole. Uh, they've also got springtails and other things floating about in here. Go ahead and feed them. And um, yeah, these are doing really well. Keeping them, keeping them in here. They're only a small colony. They only get to about 300 workers. So I'm trying to get my hands on some fig seeds. And uh, do like a little, small little cup or something here a bottle cap with seeds in and just see if they do anything with them but that's for maybe next video and now for the nikos which we saw last episode in their ac portal um they've moved into a cleaner test tree about that time and um, now it's kind of blue with um excrement but they're in here they're refusing to move into here oh wait a minute oh that's just dead ants but they're using this as a nest, and this is their, like, outworld area, which is fine. Um, we've got sugar snaps and crickets. This is going to be some cool footage in a second, just after this clip. They're doing absolutely fine. I'm just going to clean them out a little bit. Give them a once-over, and... Okay, so in here we have our Cremagasters. Um They started from just a single queen from Ancon and now we've got loads and loads of eggs and brood over there. Um, they're asking for a nest. I've tried to get, move them into a test tube, but they don't want it. Um, this is going to have a test tube or something soon. Um, but for now, there's their water in that one, and sugar here. Um, look up, they are gorgeous. And here we have one of my newest additions to the um, ant room. We have a salmon pink bird eating tarantula. They're quite fat at the moment, so she's not being fed for a while. And we have a second one, a earth tiger. I've never kept them before. This is all the way from Bristol in Virtue, trying to find out where it is. There's the leg, so it's like there it is. 
But we've got an Earth Tiger in here doing really nicely. And now it's for the exciting time. New ants and new tape. Concierge, remember? You know it, brand new tape, amazing, it's great. Okay, first up we have Mesa Barbarous, okay. And Acorn ants. Have a better look at them. Oh. Next up we have two beautiful Campanatas queens. I've actually forgotten what they were. I want to say they're scuts. Oh, not scuts. Um, just, yeah, it'll be there. But looking beautiful. Uh, these are also from Bristol. PJ ants helped me pick them out. Okay, so we got my Rubra, Lazarus Niger, and 